beauty of subtext is I say a line and I have to complicate it by thinking something else. And I might think something else and something else when I say one line. The actor who opens themselves up to that and then opens us up to what is, ab I think, the unknowable in the actor who can access that and let that be and trust that it's there when they say the line, knowing it's going to resonate, creates a, a complexity, a layer after layer after layer that you're interested in, even though they're just saying the line to be or not to be. And they, they, they go into a place and you go, ah, that's, I know I'm complicated. Now I can, we can turn off the lights. I'll sit and watch that, right? Because um, there's no bottom. Because there's no bottom. There's no bottom. They keep searching. The, 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 somehow you're engaged in the search. And you, you uh, just, you, um, well, you don't have the, the beauty of driving at 60, 100 kilometers an hour. Right. To be part of the bottom. Of like this kind of, you know, like because you're 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 gathering information, right? When you get in the theater, lights go dark, and that's where you, the only information is before you. So that's that is the risk of the art form. That's the danger of the art form. That's why lots of plays don't work out well because they don't go for far enough, or lots of productions don't go far enough. They simplify the play or reduce it. They don't create. Uh, they don't keep opening the door. 